First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Shem Yahweh and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honor to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And um, yeah, some good news, you know, for the uh, those who are faithful, you know, and some bad news for you scoffers, man, because um. It says here in the Daily Mail, Russia deploys anti-aircraft missile systems around Moscow to protect the capital from attack in latest sign Putin is preparing for war. So, hey, hey. the so S-400 Triumph, <laughs> Triumph air defense system is being deployed around the city of Moscow. Mechanism has been providing air cover for Russia and Syria since November. The news comes on the day of the U.S. The day the U.S. sent more than 3,000 troops to Poland. Obama's move in response to NATO's concern Russia was showing aggression. And this ain't going to make a reverse um, if, you know, um, Trump is inaugurated, okay? This, this, this thing ain't going to go backward, okay? It's only going to go forward, man, because it is prophecy, all right? There's no one that can turn or overturn the counsel of the Lord, man. The Lord set up this um, great time of judgment to come, man. And Trump or no one else can't go against that. Everything is going to go right, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is another article. This is a China secret humpback stealth nuclear sub surfaces with missiles that could reach anywhere in the U.S. And they will. Since the Gen Type 094A sub has a large hump concealing 12 bis bis um but ballistic missiles missiles known as big waves have a range of over 11,000 kilometers now these ain't nuclear I don't believe weapons but it doesn't matter before the war goes nuclear they're gonna be shooting um conventional weapons man on the on the shores of America see this ain't gonna be like World War um one and two where America pretty much was um untouched you know, uh, in the midst of the war, the land of America. That's why it's known as the virgin daughter of Babylon. In this war, part one of the, the theaters of war is going to be, um, you know, Alaska, Canada, and America. Okay? Let's get that. And it's going to uh, ultimately end in the, the nuclear destruction of America, okay? And the salvation of the elect. It's Isaiah 47. And we're going to get straight to the point. Isaiah 47, 8. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures. <laughs> With that, and if that ain't talking about America, I mean, I don't know where that's talking about. That dwellest carelessly. That says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Because the average person, even down to their, their military, they're still pompous. They still believe that they are the greatest military on the face of the planet Earth. And they are unstoppable. And they can't be harmed because they've never really been touched. All the wars America has fought has been on foreign soil. They've never really been touched. Russia's been touched. In, um, I believe it was Hitler. Hitler invaded Russia. You had the battle in Stalingrad. Russia's been touched before. Britain has been touched by the Blitz. Germany's been touched. France has been touched. America hasn't been touched. And that's one of the reasons why they're so proud because they've never had an enemy bring great devastation to them on their home soil. I mean, you could bring up 9-11, but that was only 3,000 people. I'm pretty sure if you look up the numbers of dead in Britain and in um, Germany and these different European countries in, in warfare in the last, you know, 100 years or so, you will see, okay? It says, um, that says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and the great abundance of thine enchantments. And ultimately, a lot of them nuclear weapons that's going to um, bathe America are going to come from them um, submarines that Russia and different nations have you know under the radar which have them thermonuclear weapons on board and there was there's a reason why the whole submarine force like the trident was all set up um britain has the trident because basically it's hard to um to to find them submarines they can pop up anywhere and just launch off a nuclear weapon like that man 
So, hey, we in that time, like I always say, man, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man, because the, the doors of mercy is going to shut shortly, man. And if you ain't, you haven't received this gospel and received Yahweh Shai, that's it for you. That just means you ain't of the elect and you you about to get uh, um, uh, 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 destruction, man, death. Whoa, you're going to get caught out there, man. So this ain't the time to procrastinate in regards to your salvation. As Apostle um, Tahar dubbed it, this is also the year of diligence. Scripture says give diligence to make that calling and election short. So now is the time to really show forth your faith, really study, really um, pray, really do all the things that are necessary for um, salvation. Okay, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.